वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक कम्युनिकेशन फॉर बिजनेस एंड मैनेजमेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी गॉन थ्रू इंट्रोडक्शन टू वॉबल एंड कॉन्सोनेट फाउंड of english language as the session 1 but here as the introductory part of the talk i would like to focus on three four points at the very beginning what i wish to convey to you all that communication can take two dimensions one is intrapersonal and the other one is interpersonal while talking interpersonal communication we notice mostly that two way communication is desirable but while communication itself it is sending and receiving messages are getting communicated or communicating others one can be communicated via natural entity as well it's not essential that both the entities would be human in olden days birds also used to transfer messages and convey information from one end to other end nature itself the cloud the mountain they also sometimes give messages but here we are talking of very complex sort of communication before moving further i would like to focus here three things for as the major communicating stresses and we can communicate in that three way first is kinesics that you call it body language non verbal communication para language blah blah it's a crux second one is pictograph communication through pictures images and you might be surprised to know that there are a few languages like chinese their script itself is stand today in the form of pictograph then you can think of communication through human language we cannot divorce any of the three if we want to aid harness good communication skills we cannot separate from each other communication through symbol communication through color communication through light all are part of communication kinesics the first part of the communication talks and to observe identify communicate draw the meaning decipher conclude conclusion and draw inferential remarks via body human body sometimes people remain in disguise they think that human body is one so body language is one it's not like that human body is seasoned conditioned with culture diversified culture and that cultural conditioning to the human body of a bringing from childhood to adulthood adolescent and adolescent to youth and then youth to age all time in a particular culture cultural setup 
human being communicate in a different way. While talking of picture or pictograph, position in which a person holds his body, that is his posture. But some of the posture became like a posture of a model. And that picture also communicate. We talk in kinetic posture and gesture, but in pictograph, we like sometimes we are traveling or driving on a road, there is some sign, some picture indicating you left turn, right turn, U turn, some light, some color communicate, stop, wait and move. And then while talking of communication through language, but these three are the, you can say, stations, substations before the development of language. And language itself is a pluralistic approach. Languages are many and moving towards again that communication through language can take professional or, or business communication or technical communication or general or literary communication. Professional and technical communication applies to our intellect whereas general or literary communication applies to our heart, soul, emotion. Before moving further, how about looking at some definition of a language? So, let us talk, you might be aware about language grammar, language rules and very popular grammarian like Rain and Marty. What about language definition? So let us talk of a definition of CL Rain. What is language? Language is a natural human growth. Language is a natural human growth, partly mental and partly physical. By the time, according to our age, we change our language, we refine our language. And also, it changes time to time. It flows. So there is a flow in the language. It flows, therefore, that it never ceases to change. And, but it continue in continuing development in a constant state of flux. How many of I have seen fountain? Fountain is like, shape is the same, but water is changing constantly. Similarly, language shape looks same. English language, Hindi language. But every time there new words are coming, like the water of the fountain, and getting drained out as well. Some of the words are getting out of the current of the language. And this way, some of the words are getting obsolete. They are redundant. They remain sometimes stagnant or remain no longer in use. So they became out. And as I said, I gave you one example earlier of mobile phone. And I gave you the idea from where the idea of mobile phone came in 1960s when T.J. Gordon who was drafting the year 2050, a reflection of a future. In that essay, he is using a term for landline phone. And he is thinking landline telephone. That there will be a time in the coming future where people will start using Go anywhere phone. 
and that go anywhere for give birth to the term mobile phone or cellular phone. So that way CL rate defines, let me announce his definition uninterrupted at one go. Language is a natural human growth, partly mental and partly physical. It flows therefore that it never ceases to change, but it continuing development in a constant state of flux. <coughs> then we can draw certain questions. Why do we need a language? If we can communicate through body language, through picture, then what is the requirement of human life? Another question, why do we use a language? And when do we use a language? The time we start using language, business starts at that time. And here I would like to safely remark that no business can stand, survive or sustain in absentia of communication. Then we will be moving to the part like another observation for language. Language is the expression of personality. Language holistically is the expression of personality in words. Language is the expression of personality in words, whether written or spoken. My verbal ability, my choice of the words will define my personality. Your choice of the words, your verbal ability, the time like military environment will be using different language, police will be using different language, technical professional will be using different language, business oriented industrialists will be using different language and that's why probably there are what medis medical practitioners will be using different language and teachers and professional academic fraternity will be using different language. And that way, what else the language is? Next, that we discussed right now, language is the expression of personality in words. What next? What else language is? It is universal medium. In business world, even we are giving oral orders, written communication is required for record keeping, referencing, in what referencing, at what time you have communicated something to somebody. It is universal medium, alike for conveying the common facts and feelings of everyday life and the philosophers searching after truth. What is, and all that lies between like common fact of day to day life and philosophers searching after truth. What is philosophy? Why philosophy is introduced here in the quest of language? Because philosophy itself has a term made up of two different words, philosoph and sophia. Philos means love. And Sophia is the Greek goddess of knowledge and learning. So the term philosophy means love for knowledge, learning and wisdom. In the quest, so in the wider perspective, philosophy is love for knowledge, learning and wisdom. Again, I will repeat this quote. Language is universal medium alike for conveying the common facts and feelings of everyday life and the philosophers searching after truth and all that lies between.
means between day to day functioning and our eternal quest of ultimate supreme knowledge or supreme truth. When talking of another definition of Henry Sweet, language may be defined as the expression of thought by means of speech sounds. Language may be defined as the expression of thought by means of speech sounds. This definition comes from Henry Sweet. And language is a system of conventional spoken or written symbols by means of which human beings as members of a social group and participate in its culture community. Means if culture is different, social group is different, so language may be different or is this time to be different if the cultures are wide apart. From where this definition comes? This definition takes its origin from Encyclopedia Britannica Volume 13. Then moving away from this 